So we're going to investigate um, some terms that we've been talking about in statistics. We're going to look at mean, median, and mode. In Swedish, uh, the mean value of something is called the um, medelvärde. The median is the same in Swedish as well, it's also called media, but the mode has a totally different name. In Swedish, this one is called typvärde. The typical value, it's actually quite a nice word, it, the, the number that is most typical. So it's quite an easy um, way of remembering. Okay, I said that I'd make a video with some, um, using these expressions for some negative numbers. So let's imagine that we are taking the temperature over a three week period. And here are the temperatures. Um, I will just plug them all in and you'll see them in a moment. Ta-ra! And here are the temperatures over the three-week period. And you can see from the uh, uh, some temperatures above zero and the some temperatures below zero that we're talking about a period around Swedish midsummer with all these negative numbers. Uh, yeah, Wendy's got a good sense of humor. Right, let's make a frequency table of this then. What we need then is we need the temperature and then we need the frequency of how often does that particular temperature occur. And then it's very easy to work out our average temperature if they then do a sum of the temperature multiplied by the frequency. How often did that particular temperature occur? So let's make a table of this and I'll start you off and then I'll fill it in um, afterwards. I find the easiest way to do these temperatures is to make a table with the most, uh, with the smallest temperature first. So let's do that. The, la the, the smallest temperature that we have is minus five. Then we have minus four, minus three degrees, minus two degrees, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, and we don't have any temperature above 5. So we can stop there. Then we just actually, uh, the easiest way to make this is look in our table. And the first number that we have is minus 4. So we know that we have one occurrence of minus 4 degrees. We have one occurrence of 0 degrees. We have one occurrence of 1 degrees. And if you do it like this, that you're actually um, crossing off every time that you um, put in your temperature in your frequency table. Hopefully you're not going to make any mistakes. So we look again at, we have a 2 degrees here, one of them. We have a minus 3, one here. So we're going to do them all one at a time. Then we have a minus 5 there, put it in here, a minus 2 here. And we're just making sure that we don't miss any number here. Because it's very easy when you're trying to make these frequency tables and you've got a long list of numbers that you miss one. A zero here, a one here, a minus three again, plus five, or first plus five, a minus two, and a minus five again, a minus one. So we're just crossing out and putting it in the table. A zero, another zero, and a one here, a plus two here, plus three here, and a plus five. Right, so let's actually put some real numbers there. How many times did we get a temperature of minus two? Well, we have two green dashes there, so that means we had two temperatures at minus five. We had one at minus four, we had two at minus three, and we had three at minus two, two minus ones, three occurrences of zero, three occurrences of one degree, two occurrences of two degrees, one occurrence of three degrees, zero occurrences of four, and two occurrences of five. Now, if we've sketched everything correctly here, the number of days that we have, we can find out the number of days by just adding up all the frequencies. Um, so if we add up, here we have two if we start from the bottom, 2 plus 2 plus 1, that gives us 5. Here we have 3 and 2, so that would give us another 5, that's 10. 3 and 3 and 2 and 2 would give us another 10. 
giving us 20, and then we've got one left over here, so that would give us 21. And we have calculated the temperature over 21 days, three weeks, so we haven't missed a temperature. Hopefully we've done everything right. Now what we'd like to know is what was the sum total of all our different degrees? And the easiest way to work that out is to take the temperature multiplied by the frequency. So we had two occurrences of, of minus 5. That would give us a total temperature here of minus 10. One occurrence of minus 4. 1 times minus 4 is minus 4. 2 of minus 3. 2 times minus 3 would be minus 6. Two, uh, 3 times minus 2. That would also give us minus 6. There was 2 times minus 1 giving us minus 2. And 3 lots of 0 giving us 0. 3 lots of 1 giving us 3. 2 times 2 giving us 4. 3 times 1 giving us 3, and 4 times 0 giving us 0, and 2 times 5 giving us 10. So now we can actually work out the sum total if we add up all of these numbers here. And the easiest way to add up when we have negative numbers is actually to add all the negative numbers first. So pretend that they were positive numbers and just add them up. 10 plus 6 and 4, that was, would give us 10 plus 10, which is 20. 20 plus 6 and 2 would be 28. So the sum total of all of our negative numbers would be minus 28. Add them up as though they're positive numbers and then just put a minus in the front. Then if we add up all of our positive numbers, we can ignore the 0 here because adding 0 won't affect anything at all. We have 10 plus um, 4 plus 3 plus 3, giving us um, 3 and 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, we have 20. Plus 20 degrees of our positive numbers. So if we were going to work out the mean, the average of all of our numbers, the formula for average is total of all temperatures divided by the number of measurements. Well, the total of all the temperatures we get by adding all of the temperatures in our frequency table in the third column here. The temperature times the frequency. If we add all of these numbers up, we have plus 20 minus 28. When we have a plus number and a negative number here, we always take the largest number from the four, smallest number, um, take, take the largest number and subtract the smallest number. So it gives us 20 minus 28 divided by the number of measurements we had, which was 21. 20 minus 28, and 28 minus 20 would be 8, but our number in front of the Largest number was a minus sign, so 20 minus 28 will give us minus 8, all divided by 21. So we can use our calculator for this. Minus 8 divided by 21 gives us an average of minus 0 0.38 degrees centigrade, which we could approximate. All of the other degrees are in whole degrees, so we could approximate that as minus 0 0.4 degrees centigrade. Um, give us a reasonable answer there. Okay, so that gives us the average temperature of all the different days. Then in order to calculate the mode, the easiest one on the next is the mode. And the mode is how, which number occurred most frequently Frequently, well, we look in our frequency table and just look down here and try and find the biggest numbers. And there was actually three occurrences three times. So this is rather an unusual set of data where we actually have three mode numbers. And the, the mode number, or the most frequently occurring temperatures, were minus 2 degrees C and 0 degrees C and one degree C. These were the temperatures that these three occurred most frequently. And we never take the average of these when it comes to mode. So mode is you just actually list the number that occurred most frequently and use your frequency table to find that. 
Right, what else are we going to do then? Well, now we need to look at the median. And I find the median, the median number is actually easiest. Again, use your frequency table. We have two numbers down here that I can cancel. These two numbers at plus five, I can cancel with the two numbers from my frequency table. I have a, a zero here. That means it didn't occur at all, so I don't need to worry about that. Then I had a one degree here that cancels with this one here. I have a two that cancels with this two here. It's almost easier if we sort of um, do it from, from these. So this, I'm going to cancel one extreme number from each extreme of my table, from the top column and from the bottom of my column. So I'll cancel this one against this one, this one against this one, this one, bottom one cancels against this top, this top one against this bottom, this bottom one against this top, and we're just going cancel bottom, cancel top, cancel bottom, cancel top. Cancel from the bottom, cancel from the top. Cancel from the bottom, cancel from the top. Cancel from the bottom, cancel from the top. And here we can see we've actually only got one number left here in the middle. That is exactly the middle number. So we now know that our median number is zero degrees C. There's only one number in the middle and it is zero degrees C. If it had been that the median had had two numbers in the middle, we might have had ended up between, for example, 0 degrees C and 1 degrees C when we were working out the median. If we'd had two numbers that ended up being our exact middle numbers, um, what would we do then? Well, we would add these two numbers together, 0 plus 1, and then divide by the number of numbers, which is 2. So to find the middle number, of two numbers. We add those two numbers together and divide by two, which would have been, in this case, plus a half a degree centigrade. So if we'd had two median numbers, we would actually take the average. But for mode, you never take the average, you just list that these were the three most common, commonly occurring numbers. So uh, good luck with, with finding averages, uh, mean, median and modes.